would characterize the state of democracy in the Philippines in two ways. So first is uh, what we call uh, democratic backsliding. No? In, um, democratic backsliding refers to this phenomenon wherein the norms and the institutions uh, of um, democracy are presently being under attack. No? But it's not only about um, democratic backsliding, it's also about democratic hollowing. No? So democratic hollowing, naman, it refers to that phenomenon wherein um, some people are feeling no, um, that they can no longer, that they don't have uh, uh, opportunities to participate in politics, that there is not, that, uh, that, that the spaces supposedly available to them are no longer available to them. No? But in the Philippines, um, these attacks on democratic institutions is actually inspiring the youth to, to explore um, varieties of creative means to engage in politics. No? So it might not be the usual things that you see. So for example, it's not, it's not the usual na um, let's join political parties no? or let's support opposition politicians, but they are reinterpreting politics in the, in the millennial manner. No? We see the youth today as leaders, as active leaders, but not everyone are capable of leading because others really need help, especially in the communities. And um, that's our work with the youth also. As much as we want to mobilize the youth, we also acknowledge that we have varying levels of involvement because we have varying levels of capabilities as of this moment. When, with our work, we acknowledge that there's a multi-sectoral partnership that needs to take place and that uh, we need also the work or the partnership of the private sector and of the public officials of the local government units to help us help more young people to explore their potentials or be active agents in their own communities. We, I want to see more young people active and recognizing the role that they have in sustainable development and not just in development, in democracy in general. Looking at the democratic problems that we have right now, the effects on institutions and the challenge to governance, we in the Institute know that it takes another 20, 30 years for us to recover, recuperate and find new ways of doing things. And given that timeline, it is worth investing on the youth now who would be the champions of governance, of innovation and ultimately of democracy as we move forward towards the decades. We hope that the community that we are engaging, the network that we are facilitating, can keep on working with each other. And through, within the course of the project, we've already seen many of them trying to work together, doing activities together, and clustering issues together so they can serve their benefiting publics together. And that in itself is a win for this short-term project and it gives us a platform to hope.